Hi guys, it is currently 1 a.m. Casual. You can't fake this shit. I got my. You can. I can fake this, but you can't fake on my phone. One a.m. Tablet. One a.m. Okay. Okay, guys. It's one a.m. Guys. I think it's one a.m. I think it's one a.m. I just finished watching Crazy Rich Asians, and it is. It was like it was fun. It was happy. I just watched the ending where. You know, it was really romantic and cute and everything, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally my reaction. I was like this uh, when the thing. What's his name again? Um, of course, fuck. How did I already forget his name? Uh, Nick Young. When Nick Young went on the plane uh, to Rachel Chu, and he was like, he was like going through all the scene and everything. Oh, please marry me. I was like, yeah. Seriously, guys, it's like. <laughs> Seriously, guys, it's like, and the party at the end as well, where I just—it's infuriating. Like, I'm seething with jealousy. Seething. As soon as the happy music ends, as soon as the fucking credits roll, I'm like, holy shit! I won't be able to get that life for the next two to three to five years. Two, three, five years, I won't get that life. If I work extremely hard for the next two to, 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 to five years, then I can get a life. A multi-millionaire, extraordinaire, inventor, like whatever. Like entrepreneur, multi-millionaire status, do whatever you want, however you want. Just live life. Be happy. I, I won't get to do that. And that actually pisses me off. And most people are like, oh, you, you need to fix your ego. Why are you getting pissed off by a movie? Listen, right? This is called an FTE, called, um, that MD DeMarco coin is a fuck this event, which is the sole beginning of all things. I'm going through it right now, and I've gone through it a few times before. I have never felt so goddamn frustrated at everything. So frustrated at everything. I've never felt this way. I genuinely, like, you, and before I, I felt frustrated in my life, and I, I genuinely wanted to change, but now I threw it to the next level because I'm seeing these Nepo babies. Yeah, I, I just remember the term, nepotism, Nepo babies. It's like some offensive term um, for like rich kids, but to be honest, yeah, to me, for me, like it's like fair enough. You're using the connections that your your parents give you. Like they usually they end up becoming successful in whatever field they do anyway. Like what was it again? Kim Kardashian. <laughs> we know how we all know how she became viral, but she still worked hard in order to become successful. And she used to took uh, she leveraged her, um, her connections. They took advantage of her connections to become even more successful, successful, and to the place where she is now. To me, it's like, it is what it is, right? But I still cannot help but be absolutely and utterly jealous of these people who lead much better lives than I. Of course, they're like, what, 8, 10, 9 years older than me. But like, for me at the moment, the future looks grim. The future, look, the future looks uncertain and it's very, very worrying. Especially when you see people of like such high caliber just live the lives of just, man. Man. I just don't want to grow up and be like 30, watch myself be 30 one day, because that happens quick. I still remember when I was 10 years old, I used, I used to wake up every single day, and I was just 10 years old. And then suddenly I'm 11, suddenly I'm 12, suddenly I'm 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, now. 18 in July. Time flies. I know that time is ruthless. Time is relentless. It doesn't care about how you feel. It doesn't care about the way you approach things. Time is ruthless to, uh, for everyone. Time waits for no man. And what I worry about is that maybe I grind on the wrong thing and I waste all my time and I, I don't do what I, I need to do and I just don't make enough money and I just end up being a failure forever and it's just it's tough, man. I, mean, I don't see failure as a bad thing. But constant repeated failures is still disheartening, you know? It's still disheartening. I see these people with the highest level connections, with the most affluence, the most opulence within their lifestyles. And I'm just so brutally jealous. I'm just so brutally jealous. Like the youngs are so rich, you can't even find them on Google Maps. 
That's how rich they are. They're probably paid to get off the Google Maps. Or they hide themselves so cleverly. Because that $200 million real estate thing, like that, that is a huge property. There's so much money around. What I've seen is like so far is, it's always two spectrums, two sides of things. It's either so much money or there's no money at all. You look around you in real life and you see everyone's broke. But you look around on the internet, you look on Instagram and all these other places. I, I only use YouTube these days. Even then it's very sparingly. <sighs> you look around on these apps and there's so much rich people. There is so much money. But how do I fucking get it? I want to leave a crazy rich Asian lifestyle. I'm already crazy, so <laughs> one third of the, no, I'm I'm crazy and I'm Asian, but I'm not rich, so I'm just crazy Asian. I I satisfy two thirds uh, to be of the qualifications you need to become a crazy rich Asian. Ah! Oh! My eyes are tiny. <sighs> That's my reaction to crazy rich Asians. I'm just jealous. Because I want a better life like theirs. And a lot of people will be like, don't be disheartened. They'll be all okay, Jimmy. Jimmy, it's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay, Jimmy. You don't be disheartened. That's not real anyway. Someone out there is living that life. Who, what's his name again? Astrid Yang. Young. She bought um, earrings for 1.2 million and that was a discount. That was a discount. That was the discount. How the fuck is that the discount? That is not the discount. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's more some people's houses. She's just wearing it on her ears. There's something wrong with the system, clearly. Oh! Oh! oh I'm gonna. Go to take a shower. My hair is really greasy. That was my reaction to the crazy rich Asians. I'm seething with jealousy. I can't see anything. I'm, and my eyes are really itchy without glasses. I, look, I feel um, out of place. Guys, I want to make a crazy rich Asian man. It's so stupid. It's so, so stupid. Man. So stupid. I just. What is success? And how do you get it? I mean, success for me is I'm constantly around my friends and family, around people I love. I always have a minimum of 50 grand in the bank account. I can spend money and money constantly comes in. I have cash flow. Success to me is the freedom of not caring about money. It's kind of weird. Like, you, so at some point, you make so much money to the point where you don't care about money. <clears throat> it's kind of backwards, but yeah, if you care about the weirder things in life. Not the, necessarily the weirder things, but and not necessarily the, uh, the finer things, but how do I say this? The more menial things in life, like family relationships. I see, I see all of this, like um, Michael too, Astro Young's husband. What, what minute are we at? Eight minutes, but more, more time. Michael too, Astrid's husband, Astrid's husband, literally, she, he cheated on her, which is L man's, L man's move. But he went about it in such a, like, how do I say this, in such a, like, a pussy way, like a coward way. He was like, oh yeah, I cheated on you, but my affair means nothing to you. Like, could you just kept in your pants, man? Or could it be like, oh, uh, you could have, you could have, you could have, like, became the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. And you could have just played it off easy. Like, yeah, she was an old fling, she was an old girl. And you could have just you could have compromised in some way, or made it made it seem like you compromised in some way. But instead, this guy was like, you know what? It's her fault. And she just started crying. <laughs> Make a woman cry. See what happens, bro. <laughs> the law is on her side, not yours. All right, not yours. So, <laughs> so who says that? Well, yeah, I stick my dick in this girl, and I I made love to her, and I was sleeping with her, but it's your fault. Because nothing means anything to you. What type of relationship is this, bro? Is this what rich people get up to? I remember Andrew Tate said it. Something interesting. Like rich people are like average people, 
for the most part because most of them are nepo babies and most of them have average problems despite being so rich where well, i could just like literally obliterate them all in a heartbeat like if if by chance my girlfriend caught me or my wife caught me cheating i'd be like oh babe it's it was a past thing and i i don't really sleep with her anymore literally what look at the messages it was a week ago like what the hell she's begging me look at my instagram dms i'm rich like I, I, I find a way to slither out of that situation, like a snake. Obviously, I, I do it for the, the benefit of the well-being of the family, but like, come on, bro. This is L Riz, man. How, how the fuck? Literally, oh, yeah, babe, I'm rich. Like, of course, I, that was my past self. Da, 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 I'm learning and growing. <laughs> I'm learning and growing. And then, and then I'd compromise with the song. I leverage the son and be like, oh yeah, our son Cassian, I'll make time for him. I'll make someone else do the work. I could do the work more in the picnic. It's not that deep. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Like, he's reached the point where he doesn't have to care about his business so much because he's balling. His guy is balling. He's rich as fuck. He doesn't need to. He doesn't, I don't say, how do I say this? He doesn't need to super be in the office all the time. Of course, if he's like, he wants to make more money, he wants to be at a higher threshold. Of course, like, up to him right but he doesn't need to do that he doesn't need to at all it's just bro it's like all these issues i feel like i could resolve by myself very very easily and relatively effortlessly the biggest issue from what i've seen the biggest mountain the biggest hurdle in which they see this is so weird because they see money as such an easy topic to get uh, easy thing to get and usually when they start their own businesses they approach money with an abundance mindset so they end up getting more money it's weird but for me, people that struggle with the idea of having a lot of money, like in the Psychology of Sales by Brian Tracy, he says that um, this one individual, he sold satellites to farmers for $5,000 each, and his business was booming a month. I think he sold, I don't know the exact number, but he made so much money. I'm pretty sure like 100 or something. That's like what, 5 million? 5 million. And then he said the way he, he saw himself and the way how, uh, the way he approached money because of the psychology of sales, the way his psychology was that he was a brokey, he was a peasant, he was a peon. And when he made that amount of money, he, he used to go home, he used to turn off the lights and put down the blinds in his apart, in his little ap modest apartment, and he used to crawl up in his bed and sweat and and, and thing and be anxious and nervous in his, in his own bed. Like, he used to go home, turn off the light, put down the curtains, crawl into his bed and be like, oh. Because he couldn't come to accept the fact that he's making so much money. It's all about how you view yourself and how you view money, I guess. That I mean, that's what I've seen so far. I I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not balling like that. It's, it's, I wish I'm balling like that. <laughs> so, the, so the way they see money, they see money in the way in, in which that it's easy to obtain. The way I see money, it, it, in the way that it's it, difficult to obtain. But, but the way you see their relationship, their relationship, they're like, oh, it's difficult to solve. But I see it like it's very easy to solve. Because, like, I guess, I, I guess, like, there's a weird dilemma when you grow up rich, right? I grew up as a nepo, nepotism baby, right? Or nepo baby. How much time are we on? Ah, oh, 30, oh, 30 minutes, cool. The weird dilemma, because you're kind of around plastic people and fake people that just want your money. And just want to be around you because, like, you're rich. And I think that... Why is it in your psyche? Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Um, so yeah, that's my reaction to Chris Rich. I'm jealous. As we all, all are. But um, the best thing we can do instead of being jealous is to get educated, get our money up, not our funny up, read books, start businesses, provide value to the market, and get rich. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace! Oh, sayonara, sayonara.